The above channel's infrastructure offers best support for native event-driven interactive and collaborative scenarios in ABAP. This video tutorial focuses on ABAP push channel in ABAP 7.40, support package 8, containing various enhancements, including API refactoring to support WebSocket subprotocols and message exchange with sub push channel protocol. ABAP push channel enables bidirectional communication via WebSockets in ABAP. This video tutorial gives you step-by-step -step introduction on how to implement and use ABAP push channel. In the end of this video tutorial, you will be able to develop with ABAP push channel this simple sub UI5 application which represents an echo. It works as following. You put any text into the field and press the button. The text will be sent to the ABAP backend system via ABAP push channel WebSocket, and the ABAP system checks the text for errors, enriches it with date, time and user and sends it back. The UI displays the text below the field. If you enter error text, the ABAP system will report the error message. This ABAP push channel application can be developed with any kind of web-based UI, sub UI5, WebDIN Pro for ABAP, even BSP. So that we will focus in this video on the implementation of the ABAP push channel in ABAP and show only briefly the UI part. We are now in ABAP development tools in Eclipse. Since the creation of ABAP channels isn't yet integrated in ABAP and Eclipse, we will need the sub GUI for the short moment. In the sub GUI, you can create ABAP push channel either from ABAP workbench, create, connectivity, ABAP push channel, or in the new SAPC transaction. We will do it now in the SAPC transaction. Go to ABAP push channels, create, enter the name. We will create local object, enter description, and choose PCP protocol to exchange messages in common sub push channel protocol format. For security reasons for each ABAP push channel application, you can maintain a dedicated virus scan ID for outgoing and incoming messages. Now the associated service path in the transaction SICF and the corresponding ABAP push channel application class have to be generated. Just press Generate class and service button and now you can implement the ABAP push channel class. Our ABAP push channel class is inherited from an abstract class and we will need to implement the onStart and onMessage methods. The onStart method is executed as soon as WebSocket connection setup phase is accomplished successfully. The onMessage method is executed when receiving a message. As we see in this abstract class, the onStart and onMessage methods are not implemented here, therefore they must be redefined and implemented in our ABAP push channel class. Optionally, also the methods on close and on error can be redefined and implemented. We will leave the on start method empty and implement only on message. The implementation is quite simple. The important parameter iMessage represents the message which arrives via ABAP push channel. First, we get the text from the iMessage and then we test the error handling in the method check application. In this method, if the message text equals error, the corresponding error object will be created and the exception occurs. Otherwise, we prepare the message for the UI display and send it back with the iMessage Manager via ABAP push channel. Just take a look at prepare message for your i method. Here we enrich the message with the author and date, execute serialization into JSON format, 
map above names to UI element names and do code page conversion. Additionally, we handle the error messages here. That's it from the ABAP side what is necessary to implement ABAP push channel. Very simple. Just don't forget to activate it. You can test your ABAP push channel directly in the test environment here. For example, you can send the messages to the ABAP system and check the system reply for the correctness of the JSON format. Beyond testing, you can use in the menu utilities the common supportability tools trace, runtime analysis, debugging. Let's take a look briefly at the UI implementation. The UI consists of the title Echo, text input field, and button linked with on post event. All entered echoes will be collected in the list. In the UI controller, in the onInit method, we check if WebSockets are supported and establish the WebSocket connection to our registered service, our ABAP push channel, with SAP's common message exchange protocol. Furthermore, we register the callback function on WebSocket events and set the UI model. If the message arrives and it is the error message, we show the message box, message box with the error. Otherwise, we pass the message data, format date and timestamp and end the message data as a new entry to the UI model. By using Unshift, the newest entry gets displayed on the top of the list. Refresh the UI model on the screen and we are done. And now we execute the SAP UI5 application. Just run the index.html on a Bob server. And we see it works as expected. Enter the text, get reply from the server, put the entry into the list as the top entry and react on arrows. That's it. Thank you. For further information, visit our community on SCN.